Welcome to Straight Butter Dating and Relationship Talk. I'm Rodney Nigel Mayfield. Today's topic is my thoughts about the Alabama brawl as a Christian man. Let's do it. Firstly, on a lighter note, before I get to the serious part, I want to say the brother co-captain didn't know how to throw hands, people. He didn't know how to fight. He definitely wasn't from South Memphis, I can assure you that. He was a big guy, but he was a big guy who was vulnerable to a smaller guy with quicker hands, and also vulnerable to multiple people jumping him. The brother definitely needs to take some boxing lessons, some UFC lessons, some Mortal Kombat lessons, karate lessons, some Kung Fu lessons, and all other combat related lessons and training. Now, on a serious note, the first thing that came to mind when I saw this brawl on YouTube was, you shall reap what you sow. In Galatians chapter 6, verses 7 through 8, it reads, Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. Now, what does this scripture mean in a nutshell? Well, in a nutshell, it means you eventually have to face up to the consequences of your actions. If you sow violence, you're going to reap violence. If you sow things of a spiritual value, you're going to reap a harvest full of things of a spiritual value. Now, the belligerent instigators of this brawl were out of control and out of bounds and should have followed the instructions of the co-captain to remove their small boat from the docking station without becoming confrontational and eventually violent. As a former Persian Gulf era veteran of the military of 24 years, a Christian man, a man of peace, and a man totally against all unnecessary and unprovoked violence, I can assure you, these colors don't run. I know God wants us to live in peace and harmony, but when someone threatens your body physically, when someone threatens your family, your kids, people you hold dearly within your heart, your property, and in this case, your fellow shipmate and coworker, then there is no turning the other cheek because the natural instinct that God places in every creature is called self-preservation. Self-preservation is fundamentally the process of someone or something preventing itself from being harmed, killed, used, or disadvantaged. It is considered a basic instinct, people, in every living thing that God created. If anyone with malicious intent attacks or attempts to cause harm to anyone that I love, I promise you that Blood is thicker than water. I can assure you, the rules of engagement when in battle is not always adhered to. And sometimes an unequal measure of necessary or unnecessary force may take place. The shipmates of this co-captain came to his rescue because they saw him disadvantaged and pretty much helpless with five or six people or maybe more or less standing over him and beating and kicking him like he was a dog. If I was on the scene, I would have tried everything within my power to defuse the situation. But if that didn't work and they continued to jump on my shipmate, I would have thrown hands and met whatever threat with an equal amount of violence 
with an equal amount of force that was necessary to quell and stop the threat. Now, some may think that the guy who was swinging the chair was excessive and his aggression didn't meet the same measure of violence or force as the instigators of the incident. Well, maybe so. But that's up to the Montgomery, Alabama Police Department to determine that. I'm not doing the investigation. But if the belligerent and perhaps inebriated, and I'm almost certain they probably were full of liquor and maybe some other type of sus substance, if the instigators were never to put their hands on the co-captain, who was the authority of that particular dock port, this entire Bama brawl could have been avoided. People, I profess that I'm a Christian. I'm a believer in Jesus Christ. I love people. I don't hate people. I don't care what color you are. I love people. You can't be a Christian and hate people. You cannot. You can't go to heaven and hate a person. The Bible says, how can you say you love God, which you've never seen, but you hate your fellow brother that you see every day? So I can't hate anybody, but I can hate the actions of people and the actions of those uh, five to six or seven people in that small boat were outlandish and it was out of bounds. Now, I'll say this finally. Keep your hands to yourself. If you put your hands on a person first, don't expect them to play softball with you and don't expect them to meet your energy with a lesser force because you started it. And they may have the final say in that confrontation. Now, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. God bless you. Thank you.